Greetings folks, this is the Volantex Trainstar Ascent, the big 1400mm wingspan version of the Trainstar. One of the best planes I've flown for a long time, I absolutely love it. It's going to be a brilliant workhorse, um, I'm going to put cameras on it and uh, flight control board. Trouble is there's no access inside, so my task today is to cut a hatch in the front here. I'm going to cut out the windscreen here and a little bit of the bonnet as well, so that can come out. The battery tray is sitting about there, so batteries underneath. The flight control board can go on top of that and back into this area of the fuselage here. So uh, I may ruin it, but I'm pretty sure I won't. Let's get to it. Kind of difficult. Very careful with your uh, Stanley knife as well because this is classic uh, cut your finger off work. I haven't lost too much strength at all. I can brace it across there if I need to. Here you see we'll go underneath all this space here for flight control boards. This is looking very nice. Uh, gluing on an extra bit of plywood there so that the screws from the flight control board don't go through uh, and pierce the battery. Just give me a bit more uh, solid screwing place there. Just epoxy it on. There's the flight control board mounted nicely with my little 3D printed uh, brackets. They were quick and easy. Receiver, GPS, camera and video transmitter connections. Just have to decide where to mount them and uh, we'll go for a fly. Ready with the train star. Not a bad sort of day, apart from the lawnmower man over there, but he's far enough away, it shouldn't be a problem. So I have a few 3D printed parts on it and I've cut a big hatch in the front. Uh, this is the main thing. Mounted the flight control board there. 3D printed brackets holding that down. That's working very nicely. I have a mount for the video transmitter there, uh, which will sort of wilt a bit when it gets hot, but it might be okay with some airflow. That's only PLA, which isn't the best stuff to print heat sensitive things on. Uh, and I have a tail mount here for the FPV camera, which I'm really happy with that design. So anyway, let's uh, see how it's going to fly. Line of sight test first. So far so good. I have uh, the smaller prop and on 4S. Fair bit of wind around. That's in uh, acro mode. I think it's doing okay, maybe. But let's try manual mode. Going a bit nose up, angle mode, yeah nose up, so we need some board angle adjustment, need a fair bit of throttle to get it going, but rough enough for the test. loiter mode. Time for some FPV. Recording now on FPV and it's looking good. What a great view. I love this tail view. Nice and stable. It's, uh, there's a reasonable amount of wind around. Did not steer the lawn line man. There he's down below. Oh, this is cool. Manual mode, and we're going to get nose up, I think. Back to acro mode. How cool is this? I love it. I need to sort out the board alignment so I don't 
uh, climb in angle. angle mode. There we go. It's not too bad, really. I think I might put the uh, other prop back on too. This prop seems a little bit underpowered. So I'm looking at the video transmitter mount there, uh, and that one will be getting a bit hot. And uh, I'd be interested to see if it deforms even with the um, airflow over it. I think it should be okay. Gosh, this is great. Still seem to be rolling to the left a little bit. Oh no, it's levelling out there. That's cool. Seems pretty good. Return to, Turn to launch. All working well. Probably is a little bit tail heavy at the moment. Sweet. Pretty happy how that's working at the moment. I love the view from the tail. Ah, my, my mount is fine actually. No, it's not getting too hot at all. That actually works well. That's great, I'm happy about that. So everything's working really well. <laughs> my rudder. I forgot to screw my rudder servo arm on, so that's dangling off. That might explain a bit of odd behavior, but <laughs> we're going well. Uh, my 3D printed parts are working well. That's not softening too, softening too much at all in the airflow. Uh, I'm very happy about that. I can make a proper little FPV pod. Flight control board's working beautifully. Camera mount at the back's working beautifully. I just need to tidy things up. Maybe make a little mount for the uh, GPS or put it under a wing to get it out of the way or something like that. Keep it smooth. Keep it clean. I better tell you about all the specs. So I'm using a Batian uh, BN220T GPS unit that doesn't have the compass in it because we don't need that for fixed wing. Matek F405 wing, one of my favourite flight control boards, probably the favourite of mine actually. Got it printed here, TS5823L Esheen video transmitter just on 200 milliwatts. AMY antenna, uh, run cam micro eagle FPV camera up there, and RX6R receiver down there. And Tyrannus QX7 controlling it all. Running on INAV 2.3. And the 3D printed parts were done on my brand new Creality Ender 3. Not the pro version, there's not enough difference to really worry about pro or not pro these days and I'm very happy with all of it thanks for watching